Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be answering some of the frequently asked questions on CarWeb Guru Launcher. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. So for the first question that we will be answering is how to remove the status bar. So to remove the status bar on top of your screen, just swipe your finger up and go to the options menu. Now tap on interface and you will see a status bar right here. Just turn that off. Now go back to the main screen. So if you notice, the status bar is not removed yet. So to make that effect, you have to restart your launcher or turn off your engine and switch it back again. Now I'm just going to pull out the key to turn my engine off. So the head unit is now off. Now I'm going to switch my engine back on. Okay, so let's just wait for a few seconds. Now my head unit is starting up. Okay, so as you can see, there's no more status bar on top of my screen. Okay, so that's one way how to do it. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Why the music album art is not showing and the navigation widget is not working? So as you can see here, the album art is not showing while playing music and the music visualizer is not working. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn my volume up on my steering wheel so you know that I'm playing music right now. Now I'm gonna turn the volume down to avoid copyright. Okay, now uh, look on the right part of my screen. As you can see here, I have my navigation widget, but it's not working. Even though I make an active route on my Google Maps already, still doesn't show a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Okay, so to make your album art show on your screen, and to make your navigation widget working as well, go to Options menu and allow CarWeb Guru Launcher to access your notifications. Okay, let's tap on Permissions, and then Notification. Then turn on notification access for Car Web Guru. These settings will allow Car Web Guru to read all your notifications. Okay, so once you're done, go back to your home screen. So as you can see, the music album art and visualizer is now showing and the turn-by-turn -turn navigation is now working as well. Okay, let's go to the next frequently asked question. Why is the weather widget not working? Okay, so I have my weather widget on top of my screen and it says disabled. Same thing here on my other window. Now to get that working, just go to the options. Now go to the program, which is this one, and look for enable weather widgets. Now just turn that on. Now go back to the home screen and just tap the weather widget and wait for a few seconds. Now it says download, uh, just tap on that again. So there, it's now working. And for this one, just to let you know, you need to have an internet connection. Okay, so let's go to the next question. How can I select or set my default music player? To set your default music player, just long tap the play button and select the player you want on the list. So I am using Spotify, so I'm just going to select on that one. Now when I tap play button, a music will play automatically on my Spotify. So this music that is playing is from my Spotify playlist. So that's how you set your default music player on CarWeb Guru Launcher. The next one we need to solve right here is why the speedometer not working? Okay, so this is my digital speedometer. So I'm just going to drive a little bit to show you that it's not working. So as you can see, my digital speedometer didn't work and it's still in zero position. To make the speedometer work, you need to turn on your GPS location and allow CarWeb Guru to access your location. Now go to permissions and enable your location. Now just tap allow. Now still under options menu, go to location. 
Now set your GPS location API to Fused API New. Now let's go back to the home screen and let's see if the digital speedometer will work. Now I'm going to drive a little bit. So there, the digital speedometer is now working. Okay, for the last one, not many of you actually don't ask this one. But I'm going to show you how does the Auto Start app works in Car Web Guru Launcher. To add an app on Auto Start from this launcher, go to your app drawer. And from here, select whatever apps you want to add. Let's try this RaiderBot app which looks like this. Now long tap on the RaiderBot app and select Auto Start. Now select how many seconds before the app will open. Okay, so I tried 5 seconds. Tap OK. And let's go back to the home screen. Now I'm going to turn off my engine. The head unit is now off. Now when the time comes you want to drive your car, of course you want to switch your engine first. When your head unit fully loads up, the app you set on auto start will load up immediately after 5 seconds. Now my under unit here is now starting up. Now the car web guru launcher fully loads up. Now let's count 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now the app that we set is now starting. So there, that's how the auto start app works. It loads up automatically on your Android head unit. If we tap the home button, it will go back to our main launcher. So there you go guys. I hope you like this short tutorial. And if you think this video helpful to you, Please give this video a big thumbs up. Please share this to your Facebook or friends. And I will really appreciate it if you do. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you again on my next video.